type moment to put up a zero in the fourth. He'll try to do the same here in the bottom of the fifth. But Nicoletti puts this in play. That's going to keep carrying. Deep center. <laughs> Wynn keeps pushing it. And it is out of here. Another home run this weekend for Eddie Micheletti at the Grand Slam on Friday. And here he launches the latest of his home runs. That's his fourth of the year, RBI number 17, and the Hokies lead grows. Really talented hitter right there. Uh, again, probably a little bit wind aided, but he still hit it well enough. And again, taking advantage of the conditions. We're not taking anything away from Micheletti's swing by saying the wind keeps pushing it. That's just the story of the day. 20 mile an hour winds, 40 mile an hour gusts. Four hits across the course of the weekend. Two of them. Difference making home runs. Making a bid to turn that into three. This is going to sail on out of here. A multi home run day for Eddie Micheletti. His third of the series. And he will create a little more breathing room for Virginia Tech in the bottom of the six. Yeah, Hardman fell behind 1 0, was able to throw a backdoor breaking ball in a 1 1 count. Looked like he went back to the well one more time, but this one sat right over the heart of the plate. And you better locate it a lot better than that if you got a good hitter like Micheletti. Walk us through this swing, Bo. Yeah, you could see him get on his front side just a tiny little bit, but it, it's almost like he knew that pitch was coming. Maybe he was sitting on it. Some hitters will do that. Some say, hey, you know, this guy's going to spin me breaking balls with two outs and a runner on first base. I'm just going to sit on it. And if he did, he timed it perfectly. A ball off the plate. 12 nothing Tech, bottom three. As Yetter turns and throws the 1 0. This is swung on and crushed. High in the air. Deep left field. Mackle, track, wall. It's gone. For the second time today, the Hokies have gone back to back. Micheletti with his fourth home run in his many games. Everybody getting a swing of the sledgehammer. And it's just the third inning. Wow. Next up. This is hammered right field over Humphrey and over the wall. The hammer and Hokies trying to start a comeback. It's Eddie Micheletti Jr. with the solo blast to put the Hokies on the board. You see they are 110 off the bat for Micheletti Jr. No doubt about it as soon as it hit his bat. He's running after it a little bit worried about it because it didn't soar too high into the sky but it had plenty of distance and ultimately comfortably clears the fence. Micheletti got a hold of it into right center field and the Hammer and Hokies have done it again. A juggernaut day, and they reach double figures. Well, the Hammer and Hokies have traveled to Derby City, and it's a home run derby. Another one took into the pine trees. Took out a couple of branches, Jeff. Yes, indeed. A big smile on the face of Micheletti. Yeah, I mean, that, you give up your third home run of the game, and you're still pounding the strike zone if you're Patrick Forbes. That, you're sending a real message to your team right there. Micheletti comes unglued, wow. and the wind will help this one get out. Four solo home runs for Virginia Tech. Micheletti knocking out his ninth of the year. 4 nothing. Wow. M Micheletti, what an addition this has been for Virginia Tech. I think this is a changeup. That's a changeup. Now, the location is the problem for Forbes, Clay. Look at how elevated that pitch is. Micheletti catches it out front, and it's, it's all over but the, the singing at that point. 